To our favourite wordsmith extraordinaire, joining me now from Sydney, gentleman genius, Kel Richards. Well, i uh, tell you what, we've fired everyone up around the country, Kel. They've shot you and me in a whole lot of words and, <laughs> and phrases they want us to get into. Let's start with that. Uh, we, we use it here on Sky all the time, particularly, you know, in and around Ukraine. We put pictures of Ukraine up on the screen and we warn about graphic images. Ivan from Sydney has written to you saying, this trigger warning, uh, it seems to be, I think it's tautology. Do I say it's a tautology? Yes, yep. That, that's what Ivan is saying. And I understand his point. Uh, graphe comes from uh, Greek, uh, from the Greek word graphe, and it means to write or to draw. So literally, a graphic image is an image image. So Ivan's got a point if you're looking at it literally. But English is an idiomatic language, and graphic image is an idiom. Now, in an idiom, the, the meaning doesn't come from the individual words, but from the distinct um, meaning attaching to the idiom, to the collection of words. So graphic image has been used since 1858. So, sorry, Ivan, it's been a long time. To mean a very detailed <laughs> image, particularly uh, shocking details. So it's OK. It's idiomatic English, been with us for uh, 170, 180-odd years. It's OK. And this is one thing that really grinds my gears to systemic and systematic uh, John, who's one of our viewers, has written about this one because it gets confused by a lot of people. He's exactly right. It is confused, but it shouldn't be. Uh, systemic means it involves the whole system. It started out as a medical term. So if there's something wrong with um, some complete part of the human body, it's running through that system, and that system in the human body is diseased. It's systemic. It runs through the whole system. Systematic, on the other hand, means methodical and planned, having a system, doing things step by step. So they're related, but they have quite different meanings. Uh, so you need to know whether you're talking about something that is a character of the entire system or something which is a methodical step-by-step -step process. System, systematic, don't confuse them. We can, we can get that straight. Now this one, beyond the pronunciation, aluminium here and aluminum there, Angus from Butterham in Queensland wants to know the differences in the spelling between the American and English versions. Uh, the, the element, the metal element, was named in the early 19th century by Sir Humphrey Davy and he called it aluminum after the Latin uh, alum, uh, alumen. Now, a lot of people complained that that's not the way you name um, elements. They're meant to have Latin names, so you need an I-U-M ending to it. So other chemists turned around and started calling it aluminium, and aluminium and aluminium lived side by side through the 19th century. In 1925, the American Chemical Society came down on the side of aluminium, uh, Sir Humphrey Davies word, but in 1990, the, IU, uh, the IUPAC, the International Union of Practical and Applied Chemistry, said, no, it's aluminium. So we'll go with the international group. It's aluminium. That's the correct name for the element. So that means we're right, which is good. Hey, this is of particular relevance to me, but uh, the gong, we say, you know, you've got a gong. It's slang. We use it for the Order of Australia Honours, and I picked up my honour, my AO, yesterday. But where does the word gong come from? Peter Credlin AO has a really nice ring to it, hasn't it? Uh, it actually, I'd like to say this was a bit of a strange <laughs> thing, so, but it's not. It, it was invented in the days of the British Raj when uh, Britain ran India and the Anglo-Indian army invented it because a gong, a dinner gong or a Chinese gong, is a big round piece of metal and a metal is a small round piece of metal. So it was a joke. You know, you've got a gong hanging around your neck. Uh, dates from, 18, from 1910. Uh -huh. So it, it was their idea and it's, it's a clever little joke. It's, it's not in any of the major dictionaries. Uh, I tracked it down in Jonathan Green's brilliant book about slang. But so, and congratulations, there you go. by you the know way. Everything. Well deserved. Thank you, thank you. It was a wonderful day and uh, very special to have my mum there. All right, Kel, I've got to leave it there. We'll see you next week.